Hello everybody and welcome back to Fiendfolio. We are jumping in again. We're going to do, I think, one, maybe two more runs before we get back to doing some deleted streaks again. And Eden is perfection itself. I love a good Eden run. They're very fun. I do, like, I love my thumbnails so much. Both Never Names and Skulls are just masterful. But the one thing I always dislike about them is that I feel obligated to play as all the characters. Like, I can't just do an Eden streak because there's just too much good art to just play Eden. And I really like Eden. I'd like to do an Eden streak at some point, but hey her, it is what it is. And I realize that Eden streaks, they're kind of old. It's kind of like an old trend for Isaac. They're not really in the um, in the meta of Isaac YouTube anymore as much. I mean, they're still fun, but yeah, they don't really have that, that same factor anymore that they used to. This is a pretty bad Eden star. I'm just going to look for the question of the day again here. Um, let's have a little look-see. Let's go to a next one. Um, what's the kindest thing you've ever done? Now, that is a nice one. So we got some sort of poker chips to the right here. I'm not exactly sure what that is because there's a few different poker chip based items and it isn't one that I recognize. We also have, I believe, sort of what looks to be super magnet here. Um, it attracts pickups and enemies. So it's surprising that I'm not attracting the heart, but maybe it's only when I need them that I attract them. Do you know what? I'm going to do a very, very stupid thing. I'm going to keep Super Magnet for this entire run. <laughs> okay, so we seem to be firing poker chips. Interesting. Okay, there's the, there's the attraction there. We get Sad Onion there, which is a very good thing to grab off the bat. A very, very high... Um, tears up to grab early, especially when our tears were so low. So right now, I'm not seeing any benefit from the poker chips. We are firing both red, green, and blue versions of them. Um, yeah, we are firing both red, green, and blue versions of them. I'm assuming they maybe scale with luck and do something. Maybe they just... Okay. Maybe they spawn, te spawn, spawn. Maybe they spawn. Maybe they spawn temporary coins on hit, and maybe the value of said coin is um, attributed. Oh god damn it! Is attributed via the uh, color, but it doesn't seem consistent to which when they drop coins or not. I thought it might be on kill. It seems to just be random. It's going to be fairly hard to pick any of them up. Super magnet is going to help. Okay, I stand by this. Our damage isn't great right now. Hopefully, we can improve that. That is a fantastic trinket. But I have I have said my piece. I have laid my bed. Now I shall lie in it. But back to the question of the day. What's the kindest thing you've ever done? Honestly, that is so difficult of a question. I really, really don't know. I can think of a lot of the examples of things that aren't kind that I've done. <laughs> this... This fucking curse, man. This fucking curse. Hate it. Hate it with a passion. God damn it. Also, we made a very strange noise upon getting hit there. I believe that's due to a mod that I have that redoes some of the vocals for different characters. Different characters have different on-hit sounds, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of a cool idea for a mod. Um, I'm trying it out. It's not something I'm, I'm planning on sticking with forever unless we really like it. So do not, do not worry if you don't like it. But I thought it could be kind of interesting. As long as they're all equally as loud as the normal Isaac getting hit sound. God damn, these Larrys are very poopy. These Larrys are very, very poopy. I've never seen a Larry shit so much. Holy! They are really going crazy. Yeah, it's going to be very, very hard to pick up these coins. Um, they seem to disappear pretty quickly. Um, I think we need higher damage and maybe higher speed to make it work. But they do seem reasonably common. Like, we're getting a good amount of them. I'll take that. Which isn't great, but I'll take it. Uh, the moon card, I'll just pop because we don't have a bomb. A spin down shard, you say. Now... Spin down shard is a bit of a tricky one. I don't really know where we want to use that. I'm not really sure where we'd want to use that. There's a few different options we have. But anyways, let's keep on with our run. 
Let's destroy some of these leftover poopies. God damn, the one hit fires and poops mod is one of my favorite ever. Oh, there you go. That's the sort of shit we're looking for right there. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm, I'm really going to have a hard time thinking of the kindest thing I've ever done. That's, that's very difficult. Because, like, I've never done any, like, huge de gesture. I've never, like, donated a bunch of money or anything like that, which may sound bad of me, but I, I, I have to be honest. I, I'm pretty sure most people haven't, so... That's a good qualifier for spin down, honestly. Spin down into Golden God gives us a much better active. And a, yeah, I'm going to do that. I think Golden God is a fantastic active. Um, it takes a while to charge up, but basically it lets us gain a ton of money, kind of on theme with our tier effect here. Uh, this guy's going to hit me. I think uh, our super magnet is going to be rather... Ooh, this guy gets stompy. That's kind of cool, actually. That when he gets larger, he gains the stompy effect. That's a good little bonus for him. Makes makes the fight sl uh, slightly easier, actually. Because there's a little bit more room to maneuver. I mean, in a way, he, he can get to us easier now. But at the same time... Oh, Lord. God damn. They really did a fantastic job with this boss. And we got card reading out of it as well. Are you kidding me? That's fantastic. That's so good. I love card reading. But it's going to turn rocks into, um... Okay, let's be careful with these guys. It's going to turn rocks into fool's gold rocks with a, like, I think it's like a 50% chance. This is, this is, this is risky. Uh, but it's also going to, um, turn enemies into gold and a few other bits and bobs like that. So let's, uh, do it on this room here. It turns these enemies into gold. Now, we won't get every enemy killed while they're golden. Admittedly. We did lose a soul heart here already. That creep is scaring me. Okay, wait, that's not... Okay, no, it is real creep. I just got absolutely faked out there. I stood on some creep right as it was disappearing, and the game was like, psych. They also seem to open the doors, too. Uh, this is very tricky. I might... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking some serious damage in here. This enemy has so much fucking health. What is going on? This is some BS. <laughs> I can't kill this guy. Do you know what? Fuck you. I'm leaving. <laughs> Thank God we had the ability to walk out when we wanted there. Because that was some that was some horse shit. Oh, also, we got a luck upgrade. Ooh. Okay. That is interesting. I'm going to guess that's only for the room, right? Oh, my fucking life. Get off me. Dude, that thing was so fast. Bugger off. This could be some issues here. Let's let's go to our shop and buy some HP. Wait, we can't because we have to complete that room. Big heck. Okay, I don't know what you do. And also these little ghosts are scaring the bejeebus out of me. Holy flip. God, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, no. You're not, no, you're not gonna, you're not gonna end my life like this game. You're not gonna do it. This is, this is the... How dare you? How dare you, game? On a run such as so. Okay, you give me something, you give me something a little tasty to, to cheer me up. I'll, I'll accept. Fucking... Bullshit. Booking enemies. My goodness. Oh. Please. Please, for the love of God, smelt this boy. It did. Hell yes. Smelt this boy. Yes! Smelt this boy. Damn it. Smelt this boy. Damn it. Okay. Um... Prevent a curse or rapidly changing shop prices. We have thingy, so why is our spike still on that door? Okay, there you go. They're, they're gone now. What the fuck is that? Interesting. I may have just killed myself via, um... 
via that there, because I've lowered my health significantly, but I'll try and stay alive. Intriguing. Oh god, this is a hard room. You die via fire, please. Who's left? Just Jumbo, Tron, 5000. Let's go through our item room real quick. Why did I choose to go through the middle of all of these? Oh my lord. Ooh. God damn. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still thinking on the question of the day. I honestly do not know. It's, that's a very, very tough question of the day. Um, I bought my girlfriend a fern once. Without, like, sort of, kind of, it was kind of without her knowing. Hmm. Now, we don't really have the speed to do this. And I'm probably going to regret this heavily. But, I'm kind of feeling stompy right now. Oh, I would cherish car battery with all my life. Don't even. Don't even step to me with this bullshit. Right, I will find a crawl space on this floor. It may take me six years, but I'll do it. It's somewhere to be found. And I will find it. Can it be under bomb rocks? I don't actually know if it can. But of course I'm not going to step on that. Come on, one more penny for car battery. You can do it, game. You can do it, game. Yes. No crawl space? Surprisingly, no crawl space anywhere to be found. But we did get car battery, which I don't think will do anything with our current active. Fuck's sake. Walked right into it. But it's still good to have. Yeah, maybe there just isn't a crawl space here. Does this work on this guy? Yes, it does. <laughs> Yes. Some fires can destroy keepers. It's very useful info. Not always super useful, but it's very good to know that you can. Anyways, this, this run has turned out to be um, better than the last one. I don't know if it's more interesting, but it's definitely better. Um, that last one was a little sad to lose, but that was some, some, some mighty fine BS. Like three rooms in a row of just, just, just hot... Stinky cat dookie. It was bad. Also, the, the speed of these lads, not compatible with my current speed. I will tell you this now. I have to out damage them, and that is all. Thank you. Old bandage is pretty nice here. I am gonna go back to the um to the the the, the hollowed lands. That's pretty awesome. I didn't gulp it. I'm going to keep it, though. I think it's more interesting. It didn't gulp it, though, sadly. By the way, just so that you're aware, there is a bug or some sort of issue with one of the mods I'm using or multiple of the mods I'm using. I think it's specifically with Ipecac, but I may be wrong, so no, no diss to them. Where if you are playing as multiple characters at once, the lag is 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 more significant, and this little dude counts as an additional character. So you may notice the frame rate being a tad bit lower um, when he's around, and if he dies, it'll kind of return back to normal. That's just unfortunately pretty unavoidable. But he does fire, so and also he is he is smelted to our body, so. Whatever we do, he's with us. 
Oh, what the? Beelzebub. We got some mini Isaacs here as well, love it. But yeah, by the way, if you're wondering what this fire does, by the way, it um, weakens enemies. It's like a weakening cursed flame sort of thing. I These enemies are horrible. So whenever we use it, we're going to see that the enemies get a, a touch bit weaker. Ooh. What is your bets that it smelts this? In fact, I ain't even testing it. No, thank you. <laughs> I was like stuck behind it, but I, I I know a little trick or two. I've got a little trick or two up my sleeve that I can use to get around such situation as that. I like the way that the mini Isaacs get random Eden hairstyles as well. It's just cute. The road back is long. Mainly because of our very, very slow movement speed. Yeah, the fire does also do a little bit of damage as well, as you can see, but it's not a ton. Okay, nice. Apple is very good here, we'll take it. We lost out on an on-hit effect. That dude's just trapped in his, his own little cage there. I don't need to be looking for crawl spaces on every floor, I'll be honest. But it feels a little rude not to. God damn. The movement speed mixed with the slightly lowered frame rate just makes me feel like I'm, a, I'm moving at a snail's pace. It's kind of hilarious. I might have to purposely kill this little dude off later on. But yeah. Basically, we deal two times damage to enemies that have got that chaos on them. Oh, these flies. Do, so, do you know the guy that makes the, the reworked foes and thingy? Is there anything you can do to make those enemies just way less BS? Because they're just horrible. They are just horrible. I'll take brimstone bombs. didn't mean to take that. I just wanted the uh, thingy, but I guess, I guess at least it's part of Bookworm. Didn't want it though. Um, secret room is very likely to be over here, but you can see now our frame rate's gone up by like 10. <laughs> it wasn't there. Oh, there's a pit here. Okay. It's got to be here then, right? Okay, this was worth. Also, these can, these poops can give soul hearts. I know they can also drop those dippy fellas. Ooh, we got a key from that one. I've not seen that before. Also, fire on that guy. You see? Do you see now? Why we do these things? Are you not entertained? By the way, no one has asked it for a while, but if anyone's wondering, um, I don't use my donation machine at all, and by that I mean I don't fill it or bomb it, because I got too reliant on bombing it. <laughs> I was using it, I was bombing it literally every run to essentially get a free item, and I, I decided um, a, a while ago when we started the new series to just stop using it. And I'm pretty happy with that I did, to be honest. I think it was a worthwhile, um, a worthwhile thing to do because I feel like it's made my run subtly harder, but not like in a super noticeable way. It just means that I can't see a very good shop item and always get it. There's gonna be some shop items that I miss, and I have to maybe do a little bit more on the floor to search around and find a solution which we've already seen this run. I've had to do a little bit extra to get car battery and things like that, that I wouldn't normally have to go through the additional effort of doing. And I feel like taking that away, it's just, eh, it, it, it takes away from the run. I, I like the, I like the struggle a little bit. I think, I think that's part of the fun sometimes. And also 
when you've played a game as long as I have, over 1,500 hours on Steam and about 300 off Steam, um, you need to challenge yourself. Plus one burn heart, taking damage has a chance to fire out a rib projectile that circles around you. Rib projectiles return to their sender um, and are destroyed only on contact with what fired them. Rib projectiles destroy enemies. Oh, interesting. I'll take it. It gave us a burn heart at least. I can get behind that. Ooh, it was a fool's gold rock with a thingy underneath it. Crawl space. I can very much get behind that. Also, this uh, this malformed penny plus um, enemies dropping coins when we hit them is pretty awesome. Gonna have a lot of mini Isaacs. Ooh, interesting room design here. So this is a um, bombable wall, which this hasn't really worked out for me, to be honest, because it gave me a trinket. I say a trinket I don't really want. It might be a trinket I want, so let's, let's carry on. I've got to use the ladder to get up here. Please, please smell it. It didn't smell it. Are you kidding me? Well, at least do that, though. So, with, with that globin thing that we uh, that we got right at the start, we have a 50% chance to... 50% um, chance to smell any trinket we pick up. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Ethereal penny. But yeah, it's weird how like this little ghosty fella it, um, makes me lag more, but Brother Bobby doesn't. I don't know why he counts as an additional player. I think it's because he adopts all of your stats and things. Uh, well, not stats, but like all of your effects. I think that's why he classes as like a player, so to say. That was a cool crawl space though. Green Folio definitely adds some interesting ones. Oh, I love these bucket enemies. So cool. Got like that extra armor with them. It's pretty interesting. People have been complaining that I don't do mother runs enough, so let's do a mother run this time around, shall we? We are wrecking things right now. Kill off my little buddy right at the end of the uh, level there. So I can walk around lag free. Um, so let's let's yeah let's go back and do our white fire. The white fire and reflected reflected everything is just such a cool puzzle. Obviously, it was discovered how to do it pretty quick, but it's still a really really interesting idea. Imagine with um, thunder thighs, I just like cracked the mirror as I walked into it. Be funny. I'm just sad we didn't get to stick with our super magnet challenge. I like stuff like that. It's fun. Ooh, an extra black heart. Health is looking real good. Considering I accidentally traded away some extra HP. I'm pretty happy. A half red heart there. I don't really know where I'm going at this point. I've just kind of decided to go on a little further than, I'm, than necessary, but honestly, I think I can do an additional boss. I, this this may be a fool's gambit here. But I think I can do it, just because of the um, little buddy, the, the, the buddy in a box that I have this floor. This is the only room that really challenges me, I think. The, the boss is a tricky one, but we killed it so fast the last time, and I realized we did have some additional help the last time um, with, the, with the little buddy, but... I think we're good. Yeah, that's that's doing a lot of damage. Just be really careful of the little ghosts. The little ghosts are more dangerous than you'd assume. Also, some of these little shots that this guy fires off can be a little tricky, but I think we got him. Yeah, we're good, we're good. I love the little eyes these guys get. So funny. Such a cool death animation. A lot of the Sphenfolio bosses have really stylish death animations, to be honest. And booster pack. Eh, it's not great, but we could get something worth it from it. We got open all doors in the current room. Devil. 
extra bombs and spawn what spawn one of every type of beggars kind of interesting what the hell are you so I do you want a key and a bomb you are not able to be played right now I don't know who what mod you're from but I've never seen you before we also have a card beggar here which we can trade cards in to get some stuff from which I will be doing. Oh wait, he's not taking my card. Is he not meant to take my card? Okay, no, he did eat my card that time around. He did poop out some other cards though. i curious to see what this guy ends up paying out with. I am also accidentally playing the beggar above him right now, which is fine by me, I'll be honest. He spawned a booster pack. Okay, we're out of money now. Okay, so this guy does take money, which I didn't know. Didn't goop this one either. Goop, I meant gulp. Right. Our reverse cards reverse strength, which we essentially have a pocket version of, so not very useful. All in all, that wasn't super useful, I'll be honest. That wasn't super useful. It is what it is, though. I realise I could take at least one of those cards with me, but eh, whatever. Right, let's make sure to get our key piece, because I forgot to get it the first time around. Just in here. God, I'm kind of like tired at the moment today because um, I did something somewhat foolish. Um, I did something somewhat foolish. I've been like going real hard um, at the gym recently because I went to Greece for a week and fattened myself heavily. I put on like 10 pounds. Um, it was it was very worth it. Uh, but anyways, I've been going to the gym every day. I've only been going to, and doing cardio. Like, I go and do, like, an incline walk or a run or whatever. Um, I've not been doing, like, muscles or anything like that, because I just don't... I don't really need to. I'm not, I don't give a shit about that sort of stuff. But anyways, I just need to lose weight. Um, and yeah, I've been going, like, every day. And today I went twice, because I went earlier in the day, and then my girlfriend wanted to go later in the day, and I was kind of like, eh, I could go again. So I did. Ooh, look at that sticky nickel. That's cool. And so I did, and yeah, um, not really the best of ideas, because now I'm very tired. It's fine, though. I can't believe we've been recording 28 minutes, and we're only on Downpour 2. Got da fucking really. Of all the directions the Brimstone could have blasted that. Evil game. Evil. At least we don't have to do the Mother Chase. At least we don't have to do the mother chase. The wand. Wait. <laughs> I just realized something. Look, watch this, watch this. He's got Stompy as well. That's so funny. I didn't think about that. My little dude's got Stompy too. Alright, let's do this. Oh, he died pretty much instantly this floor anyways, so that's fine. I don't really care whether he lives or dies. He has he has positives and negatives at the moment, so... We shall see with him. We shall see. This candle's fairly balanced, because it's kind of hard to hit. It, it, the, the, the flame is pretty short-range and pretty short-lived. Not super easy to hit it directly. Another trinket here. Will we actually get a smelt this time? We did. Nice. That extends the duration of um, status effects, which I think will help with our candle. I think it doubles the duration, actually. So I think, yeah, I think with our candle, that will actually have a positive impact. I'm curious to know how that skeleton is bleeding.
Maybe he needs some milk. I'm still, I'm still like proper thinking about that question of the day, you know. It's still stuck in my head and I still really can't think of a, of a good answer. There's got to be something better. Um, I, I suppose one thing that I wouldn't exactly say that I did directly, but I certainly took part in, is mainly my sister actually, but I certainly took part in, is for my mum's 50th, we threw a, um, a like, Mamma Mia themed surprise party, because she just really likes Mamma Mia, and it was kind of like, obviously Greek themed as well, because it's uh, the film, is it the film that said that? I don't, honestly, I don't know. But anyways, um, she fucking loved it, and she was completely oblivious to the surprise as well, which was really, really nice, because it was a it was a big shock to her. Um, and yeah, uh, I obviously don't get to see her that often, because I live in another city, um, and obviously at the same time, my sister did as well. So um, she hadn't seen us both in a few months, I think two months, something like that. Um, and then, yeah, she turned, she turned up to what she thought was going to be like a charity event, and both me and my sister, as well as like 50 of her friends, um, were, were all there, and she was uh, she was in tears like she was very happy which was really nice that was that was quite a nice moment oh god damn what's this guy doing but yeah i, I wouldn't exactly say i did that because it was really mainly my sister that planned it all um but i i was in attendance <laughs> and I, I helped with a few a few small things oh why did i use a key on that so stupid yeah i feel like small small things like nothing crazy um But yeah, I, that, that's definitely one. I'm going to have to use the other key on this now, aren't I? My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. I'd better get another key. If I was out of my item room for that, the depression within my soul is going to be hefty. Come on, my mini dudes. Spawn four of them that time. Holy shit. Ooh, what the hell? These guys are firing rocks at me. All sorts of crazy stuff. That's not a key. That's a troll bomb. Damn it, we're not going to get any keys, are we? We've already seen our shop as well. Oh, thank God. Ask and you shall receive. Is that Dipsy? <laughs> and we got an additional key as well, which we can use for our shop in a shop. <laughs> nice. Right, let's go back to our shop in a shop and our item room. Shop in a shop in a shop in a shop. I am, like, probably one of my sort of proudest things with, with Isaac. And this is something that isn't really a, a, a me thing as much as it is just... Oh, this is amazing. Oh, is it, is it, it, is it is just as much as a playtime thing. But I have to say, I heavily praise my own ability to find secret rooms. Like, I have gotten very, very good at that. I'm sure there's a, a good amount of you watching that are, are pretty jelly. Because I'd say that, like, a solid, like, 80% of the time I'm correct. Maybe even more than that. A second secret room's a little more iffy, just because you have a lot less to go on. Um, like, I think it's here, but it, it might not be. Yeah, it's not. Um, but, but, normal secret room. It's great. Ooh, we got, uh, the, the, the thingy version of war. I like the way we have this friendly blob thing here that just does absolutely nothing. It just sits there. Well, you fire gigabombs. All right, sir. Calm down. It's a really, really, really well-designed boss fight. See, I never was able to use this mod before because I didn't use stage API, but then Fiendfolio required stage API, so now it's it's possible for me to use. Holy hell. And we got water tumors. Tears up, among other things. Right, down we go. Do like a cheeky mother run here and there. I think I'm going to have to kill off my buddy each floor. What is this? Okay, okay. We'll come back to that. I'm going to kill off my little buddy first, because honestly, he's just a goober. There you go. He's dead. I'm sorry, my ladder, my goober, my son. I wanted you, but I forget 
that you cause pain. Okay, so bets on what that table's gonna do. I, I mean, I'm definitely thinking it's gonna be sacrificing some amount of HP. It it gave me a speed increase for. Is that a full Red Heart container? It did. This is very cool. I wonder how many soul hearts it takes. I think it took three. Okay, we'll leave it there. That, whatever mod adds that, which might, it might be a Fiend Folio thing, but I don't think it is, because I'm pretty sure I would have seen it in a Slayer video if it was. Um, but that is an incredible addition to the game. I, especially if it's like Secret Room slash, um, slash Curse Room exclusive, if it's something that's pretty rare to find. The ability to trade three Soul Hearts or a... Red Heart for straight stats. Very, very interesting idea. I like it a lot. Certainly uh, a bit of a risk-reward thing, because you don't know what stat you're going to get. I mean, it seems that it only gives you the good stats. Like, it's not going to give you range. I got, spe I got speed, damage twice. No, damage once and fire rate twice. Um, so it seems like it's probably not going to give you range and shot speed. At least I hope. Um, but it might be able to. It might just be a lower chance. So I don't know. Uh, but it seems like a little bit of a gamble there, but if you get what I got, it's, it's a pretty good payoff for what you're paying. Okay, we're looking for more keys here, but the, the double fire rate, especially considering we went above and beyond the fire rate cap, especially good. These little shooter buddies are the worst, mainly because they can shoot in ways that isn't natural to their sprite. <laughs> and that always throws me off. Ooh, these driller guys are cool. A little bit hard to hit, I'll be honest. Look at our big boy. It's just having the fucking time of his life. Absolutely having the time of his life. Mother's Spine is pretty good. I will take... Oh, Book of Jubilees is also very good. Probably better than this. Yeah, that guy finally blew up. Ooh, hello. Fireball, fellas. Looks like we're not going to get the keys we need. Okay, so Rebirth is, is really causing me some pain here. I also walked into a mushroom. Did I actually manage to hit this guy with a the fire then? I don't think I did, did I? Okay, we got the soy milk version of this guy. God damn, I keep missing with the goddamn fires. They're really hard to hit on this dude. It doesn't really matter at this point, does it? He's already basically dead. What sort of brimstone does this guy do? We'll never know. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I've checked this, but I doubt I'll be taking anything. I mean, webbed hearts are pretty useful, I, I suppose. Void bombs are pretty fun. Fettered Heart is pretty good, but I think we're going to just take the Webbed Hearts and bow out. And we're going to immediately spend them to escape. Um, Can someone explain to me what the flipping hell just happened? I lost the Webbed Hearts along with some of my other hearts as well. I feel like that's not intentional. Also, let's go to our shop. I didn't really think about the, uh, the the mausoleum door, I'll be honest. We might still die on this run. Our health is not looking super hot here, but hey-ho, we've had a good run. Uh, we got the abandoned box. It spawns a random familiar from the current roots pool. Okay, this is something that we need to be a little more cautious of. Because last time I completely balked using this. So this time we want to go over to the curse room and use it in the curse room. I don't know what familiars that could be, but I'd imagine it's some decent ones. I can't really remember what familiars you can get. Blood Puppy is a pretty common one. Fucking nine lives is one that I didn't consider. That that helps us immensely. I forget that nine lives counts as a familiar. That is um, an immense amount of help for us. I love that. Yeah, that's that's a, an item that I, the first time I found I completely misused, but... 
This time, I know what I'm doing with it, and I think it's a very interesting item. It's kind of like the, um, the, the present, or whatever it's called, Mysterious Gift, but it's got a bit more specificity to it, and it can be used in some interesting ways, I think. I think there's some cool ways you can use it, and I think Curse Room is definitely one of them. Considering, like, so, let's take a little think here. Um, let's, let me just go and have a little look. Um, Isaac, Curse room item pool let's take a look li a little let's take a little look at the cash room item pool so in terms of familiars we have nine lives we have shade we have blood earth which i think counts we have um blood puppy and we have vanishing twin which i also think counts i'm not both, both um, Vanishing Twin and Blood Earth, I'm not sure if they count, but considering Nine Lives does, and that would also be one that I would regularly think is a bit iffy, you've got a pretty good chance of getting something good. I'd say Vanishing Twin is pretty damn good. Blood Puppy is decent, but not amazing. And Nine Lives is, is of course, very good. So I'd say, like, Cash Room usage is, is, is pretty, pretty high priority there. Like, Devil Deal um, usage is also, like, another one that's high on the list. But you've got the likes of Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie in there. So they kind of take the tier down a little bit. The only one that's in that pool that would be, just like, really disappointing is Shade. Shade is, of course, a terrible item. But, um... Wait a minute. Get rid of my boy again. I'm sorry. My sweet, sweet boy. Has to be done. Also, you hate to see it. Why is this room just called Zero? This room has no name. And it's got Fiendfolio enemies in it too, which is surprising. Normally, the Fiendfolio rooms have specific new names. Odd to see. Not Odyssey. Odd to see. Okay. Do you know, I've gotten to the point now... Where there's certain enemies and stuff that I'm like, is this a Fiendfolia enemy or is it vanilla? Like, I genuinely could not remember then if, um, the hell's going on here? I don't genuinely couldn't remember if those little brain jumpy guys were Fiendfolia enemies or not. Also, what's this, like, aura these guys have? That's weird. We've also got the other half of Mausoleum, which I forgot about. We haven't been here in that long. I'm going to try and make it, a, make it a point to do a few more Mother Runs. People enjoy them, or at least I hope they do. I enjoy them, and I don't really go here enough. There's, there's, there's a lot of good stuff to see, and I, I don't take advantage enough. And I apologize for that. Okay. So I'm guessing that red map there is the extra mausoleum floor part. I, I don't think they're actually red rooms. What on earth are you? Little Miss Spookums. No, thank you. And X-Ray Vision to boot as well. Gotta love it. X-Ray Vision, top tier item. I thought that I thought that crow was telling us the secret room was there then, but then I realized it was just a crow enemy. Puzzle piece. You. You. You ought to know. Ooh. I don't know why, but in here, it regenerated as a regular rock. How could you, Prian? Repent for your sins. How could you do this? Also, this seems to be slightly wrong as well. I realize that it's just because it's a different mod. I don't expect Prian to, to fix that, to be honest. But, like, in this room here, the regenerated rocks are from the wrong area, by the looks of it. Like, what are these ones doing here? Are they are they from here? We'll find out, I guess. God damn, the rocks on this floor look so, so good. That was a tinted rock, apparently, as well. Nice. On the chest there. Oh, what the hell's this dude? I'm going to say that fat guy needed to die. Whoa, this is like a Terraria boss. Yeah, this is like a Terraria boss, this. He's dying pretty fast, I'll be honest, but that was cool. That was really cool. I thought we already had Magic 8-Ball. That might be on the previous run, though. 
I'm pretty sure it was actually thinking about it. Right. We have been to everywhere important on this floor, but we haven't been to everywhere important on the reverse floor. I realize the reverse floor is something unnecessary and just an extra time investment on a run that's already pretty long, but I am willing to uh, I'm willing to do it. So yeah, the red rooms are the red rooms are these ones, okay. Although there is a room here which shouldn't exist, which would if I'm betting, would take me to a um, error room, but I guess I'll try that out after. Also, we generated a tinted rock there randomly. Wooden nickel, you say? Thank you for the key. I was in need of that. Okay, another tinted rock back there. Oh, we got the haunty guys. Hello. Didn't expect to see you here. Oh, what the hell? What the hell was that little dude? <laughs> what the hell was that? Ooh, we gotta play around these fire dudes. Mask of Infamy has been saving my ass on the regular, by the way. So we got an extra shop here. I don't know if you get an extra shop and an item room or just one, of, one or the other. I think it's one or the other. I don't think you ever get both. Our pat boys. We're generating so many additional um, tinted rocks here. Grab that. We might as well grab that. By the way, something that I'm noticing here is sometimes it teleports me to try and prevent me getting stuck, which is a good thing for this um, this curse to do. But maybe if you have Flight or um, Stompy, it shouldn't do that. It should check, because it's a little bit janky when you have the ability to just walk over the rocks, but it still teleports you. It's only a small thing. It's pretty niche. Pre and if you're watching, that might be a small change you, you'd be uh, up for making, just to make things a little more smooth when you have Stompy. Because it just it looks glitchy. Oh, we don't have keys again. Damn it, that's a second tinted treasure room we have to have keys for. Being a little bit peeved about that. What the hell? There's two tainted, tainted treasure rooms down here. Not fair. We've got one of the keys. These guys are interesting. There's another key. Okay, okay, okay. It's a gulp on that. We can at least get into one of the tainted treasure rooms here. And this one is uh, improves the layout and rewards of secret rooms. That sounds cool. I'll take that. I'll try that out. Sadly, there ain't no entering there for us, though. Unless, which is unlikely, but the shop has something to offer us to help us out. No, it does not. There's another key, actually. Oh, we did it. Somehow we did it. I thought maybe there was a chance. Right. Second tinted treasure room. And this one's great as well. I'll take that, too. Atlas can generate us more rooms and generate additional special rooms. Kind of like a Revita style thing. Revita's kind of got a similar thing to that. Right. We could we could do this actually. Let's let's. Just because we don't have the ability to generate spiked rocks, or at least if we do, this we're safe from them. This is like a genuine tactic for like getting ourselves more um, tinted rocks and stuff. Pretty saucy. There you go. Look, there's another tinted rock. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's pretty beautiful. Right, so. This here was the additional room. Is this going to take us to an error room? It is. And it's a very wacky looking one at that. Unfortunately, it seems to be an error room with no reward. Which is a little upsetting. It does seem to be an error room that we can just walk off the edge of, though. 
Okay, let's get out of here. That's pretty cool, though. Sadly, an error room without reward. But the Fiend Folia error rooms kind of go hard. Slay did a video on them recently, and they have some interesting ones in there. They have, like, a weird family guy looking one, and there's some other, there's some other cool little Easter eggs in there, too. Do you have the Curse of Decay? Curse of George Decay. The Hat Fellas again. The Mad Hatters. My little buddy took damage there and didn't die. There you go, he's dead. Get out of here. But yeah, as you can see, our trinket that, that lets us smell trinkets is uh, one of these dudes. The Reforming Fellas. The compass. Get rid of one piece of mapping for another. And there's another two tainted treasure rooms here. What is going on? Okay. I have a feeling there's some sort of glitched generation happening with the um, tainted treasure rooms and the, uh, the split mausoleum mod. Because that's peculiar. Unless we just have like enough uh, compatible items. But I've never seen more than one generate in a floor before, so we'll hopefully get enough keys to open them up again because I would be interested to do a, a heavily tainted treasure based run. There's one key there. Wonky wonky. Sadly, we've got all this cheddar, all these pennies. Not really much to do with them. That aura seems to make him invincible. That's another key for us. That's at least one tainted treasure room that we can get into. Ooh, slightly a different variation of these guys this time. Fire a, a sort of larger herming shot. Ooh, also spread some fires. Well done to you, sir. Hey, look, Turtle Melon on the, on the item room name. I made this room. I made a good amount of the... Um, rooms on the alt floors for the Ipecac mod, which eventually will end up being overwritten because um, I made them before they reworked any of their enemies and they're going to rework some of their enemies, but hey her, it did him a little favour, just because I wanted to see some uh, some Ipecac enemies on those rooms. So I was like, hey, I'll do this for you if you want. <laughs> and they graciously accepted my offer. Making rooms is a lot of fun. It, it, it does get tedious after a while, and you do have got to sort of be motivated to do it. By the way, is it just me, or is our Mask of Infamy the best Mask of Infamy you've ever fucking seen? Like, we've been saved by Mask of Infamy so many times this run. Like, it's not happening every time, as you just saw, but it's happening a lot. Like a lot and a lot. Oh hell, what the hell? Oh, that's cool. The teleporter spell out mom. That's pretty cool, that is. I like that. Sticky bombs. Not particularly interested, but thank you. Right. Let's head back to the uh, split floor. Go to our tainted treasure rooms over there. Potentially go to an error room again. But we need to teleport out of the boss fight to do that, right? Actually, no, because that wouldn't take us to the corpse floor. So we don't, we don't want to do that anyway. So let's be vigilant when we get down there. Apparently, uh, the error room doors are caused by, um, by the, the um, tainted treasure rooms mod. I just used a key and I didn't mean to. Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn it, I was really hoping there'd be a key for sale in here. Soul. If I don't get another key, I'm going to be sad because I, I did not mean to use one there. Also, stop walking to those, you flipping moron.
Oh, you're 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 not. The heck. Okay, there's some weird stuff going on with the map right now. It doesn't really understand what's happening, does it? Like, some of these rooms are being called red rooms, some of them aren't. It's weird. Damn it, give me a key. There's a key. No, it's... Oh! No, the teleport has screwed me, you fucker. Plus decay just screwed me over. That's so annoying. If I don't get a key, I'm gonna be mucho mad. Okay, no, I got it. It's fine. I can be happy now. I can calm down. This alt path bit's fucking huge, by the way. Okay, so there's our error room door. Yeah, the error room doors, I don't think they're supposed to generate. I think that's definitely a bug. I think that's something to do with tainted treasure rooms, because I had a, I had an issue with that before. So there's another error room door right there. Okay, we're getting a lot of keys now. I'm not as mad anymore. God damn, the, uh, this is a huge, huge, huge alt mausoleum. It's mahusive. It goes all the way. Another key there that I missed, god damn it. This one we get hive mind, which I'll take. Right, let's make our way long way back. Why have we defaulted to looking like a polyon again? That happened last room. I'm confused by this. Strange development. Oh, for God's sake. Get off the spikes. Off the spikes, off the teleporters. Right, away we go. And then we can come back down here to our other tainted treasure room. Oh my god, they're just blocking me from hitting the burny. I can't hit the bony. Can't do it. I simply can't. Ooh. Right, 0 0.5 damage, 2 times damage multiplier, prevents your damage from going higher for the rest of the run after being picked up. I think that's worth it. Yeah, that, that, that was worth it. Because while it's a bit of a risk, because we don't know for a fact we're not going to get any more damage ups, there's a good chance we weren't going to get 3 damage worth of damage ups over the course of the rest of this run. I think finding that early... That would be a, a prob probably hard pass, especially considering you're giving up Cricket's head for it already. But I think giving yourself a pretty big boost towards the end of a run, very worth it. Anyways, this floor was, was entertaining. This floor was, was really something. Why didn't she take any damage though? What the hell? Oh god! She stepped, she stepped, she stepped. Coming in with a hot, stanky boot. Ooh. Not quite sure what happened there, but I got an insta-kill. That's what the soul heart. Lump of coal could be a nice damage thing that, that isn't actual damage. Thank you. Right.
God damn, the map is so huge. Ask him if he saves me again. Thank you. Okay. Nice one. Not too shabby. But yeah, I'll definitely own up to my mistake if I end up um, fucking this up and like I get like a huge damage up on the next few floors. But I just highly doubt it. Also, don't fake me out, game. I'm going to go directly to the boss and it's going to take me directly to the boss. It's not going to be a fake out like it does sometimes. The corpse is also a flaw that I just haven't seen a lot of the Fiend Folio enemies on. Probably a lot of cool ones that I'm missing out on. Okay, so which way do you reckon? I think left and then up. Yes. Oh, let's get out of here. Skedaddle, skedoodle. Like, what are these spider dudes? I've seen the, the long boys, the, the worm guys. Are these sucky suckies? Not quite too sure about them. <gasps> yes! Morbid Heart's really good. Not the super useful right now. Ooh! Another um, new version of a, of a Harbinger. Not seen this one before. He's air striking us. Pretty cool. Ooh, there's, there's poison spreading about as well. Got a little get up animation. Whoa, look at this. This, this is cool. Got a bit of invincibility here. This horse steed is here now. Oh, this is a very entertaining fight. That's a that's a really cool fight. And one that I can imagine being very difficult without the damage we have. Also, we get yet more. Um No, nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything in here. We get yet more fire rate for a 7.29 fire rate without any soy milk or anything like that. It's kinda crazy. Right, we have what looks to be a devil deal room and an item room on this floor. That, that confuses me. We gotta go and figure out what's going on with that. That might be something new with, um... There is literally a devil deal here. That might be something new to do with, um... Like a rebalance of the corpse from Fiend Folio. But I don't remember. I've been to the I've been to Mother before in Fiend Folio. I don't remember this. So weird to see this. I don't think either of those are worth. Although, saying that, conjoined is not too far away. I'm going to take this for conjoined. That's a risk just because of the sheer amount of, um, the sheer amount of health we just lost. But you'll notice we didn't, we got a tears down, but we didn't get a damage down because our damage is stuck at the value that it's at. That's what the item said, which I something I did not consider when I was first talking about the item. I was under the assumption that it could not go over that value, but it's actually locked in at that value, which is a huge difference. There's many, many items in the game. I will say many, many. There's a good few items in the game that can lower your damage and a good few things as well. So that is, that's pretty impressive. I like that. Now I'm curious about this item room. I'm gonna go and suss it out. Look out for tinted rocks. We could do, we could use the health. Yeah, multi-dimensional baby, very useful for us. Also, we got a very good buddy in a box this floor. <gasps> this is useful. Right, one of them we pop on this and get soul hearts. A real devil deal teleport. Damn, <laughs> not super useful for us. This one we take away. And we use on, I believe, this little thing here. Doesn't work, okay. My mistake. 
Um, this room is alive, and I'm fighting it. I think I've seen this before, but I don't remember it very well. This is interesting. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. The room is alive. Corpse music hits hard. Whoa, it's a dead whale. So it looks like he's about to explode. He very much did explode and he hit me in the process. Damn it. Okay, health is... Eh, really concerning now. I really can't get hit anymore between now and the boss. That's actually decent. Right. Back we go. Quite a long run, this. Quite a long run. Get these and everything again. I know that people like these, though. Like, honestly, the amount of comments I get when I have, like, a really long episode of people are like, fuck yeah. It's surprising. And I'm glad people like them. Obviously, I, like, some people do ask for more long episodes. I'm never going to force it. I'm never going to, like, purposely take a really long time on an episode. But if it, if it occurs naturally, like it's an R key run or it's a run like this where we have a false start and then kind of get into some shenanigans. I don't mind him. Oh, hello. Cash room, could you give us the health we need? I mean, it gave us some of the health we need. We also got another trinket, which could actually benefit us. I think I'm going to take it because we have um, whipped cream, which means we do more damage with that higher shot speed. And honestly, how many more mini Isaacs are we going to get now between, between now and the boss that, that are going to end up being useful on the boss? Exactly zero, I would imagine. I kind of forgot we had our little buddy with us on this floor. Dude, could you just not push the bombs around, please? Okay, doesn't matter anyways. Right, I kind of forgot we had brimstone bombs, and especially considering we have double them. I'm going to be using them a good amount. Ooh, the mother music is good. Okay, we don't have double bombs anymore, but brimstone bombs are still useful regardless. Doesn't matter really where they land, they're going to do damage. We also want to be making sure to take advantage of our knife whenever we can. Of our knife? I just saw the knife and said knife. I meant of our candle. Do a solid bit of extra damage to him for a short time. Do you know what? I said the mini Isaacs thing and then did, kind of forgot about the fact that um, there's going to be a ton of coins. But I still think regardless, the extra shot speed with um, whipped cream is better. I remember back in the day, back in the day of uh, Aftermath plus Ipecac, whipped cream was broken as fuck. It was so unbelievably broken. Um, it used to have absolutely no damage cap. Um, so if, a, if the shot speed of a shot reached a high enough speed, or it had been on the screen long enough, either or, the damage would be insane. So if you got any sort of like bouncy with range, I just stood there and ate that, I don't know why. If you got any sort of bouncy with range, you would just annihilate anything. It was it was honestly beautiful. It really was. It was really something to withhold to withhold to behold. I had a few runs with the uh, the, the cog item from Ipecac, which basically makes your left eye fire one type of shot and your, your right eye fire another. And the right eye fired bouncy, and with that you could build up some serious damage. And like I, I think I had one run with that setup where I managed to one shot um, the. Uh, Ultra Greed boss. Which, yeah, pretty entertaining. Not something you see every day. I need to be a little careful. My health is getting a little low now. I don't even know which way it's coming from at this point. That was a really fucking good bomb, by the way. I managed to stop him for a very significant amount of time there. Although that was a very good bomb as well. That still hit me, though. What the hell? Anyways. We're good, we're golden, we got him. A very fun run. If anyone would like to describe to me what the hell happened with the Tainted Treasure Rooms and what the hell happened on this floor with the Devil Deal and the Item Room, the Item Room I kind of understand because that's a trinket. But where the fuck did the Devil Room come from? Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.